Hi, and welcome to Petersville Farm. The 2020 pineapple harvest is now over. With the evening temperatures dropping, almost all of the pineapple plants are in the greenhouse. The pineapples were sweet. However, the question was why they are smaller than the store-bought pineapples. The harvested pineapple uh, shown in the previous video uh, was a medium sized. However, the remaining pineapple fruits were the size of a grapefruit or smaller. In this video, I am making some necessary um, preparations that I believe could improve the pineapple fruit yield uh, next time around. So um, this pineapple shown here, I believe it's the, a third harvest from this blue drum. So the first um, video I've ever made on um, pineapple harvest and pineapple, uh, that was the first one from this variety. And so if you look, you could see they, um, they are quite similar. And so this is quite the third and, you know, although it's the size of a little bit bigger than a grapefruit, one of the things to note is uh, it's progressively, uh, the pineapple will progressively larger um, from harvest to harvest. The first thing to note is this plant was in a small pot that was on the two gallon from the start. And so, you know, putting it in a bigger pot made a difference so this shows the variation in in the sizes so as I reflect um, one of the ideas that came to my mind is um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant some of the crowns I want to see what happens in directly into the ground um, but I'll be placing them in pots during the fall I'll be digging them out of the ground and put them in pots um, during the early portion of the fall season for next year. Um, with this option, um, importantly is um, I would need to select um, a part of the landscape that is at least five, way, five feet away from um, other trees or buildings or structure. Um, the distance between the individual plants uh, should range anywhere from 12 to 36 inches but um, in general, um, the wider option is better because this hopefully will um, allow for larger plants and fruit production than um, the closest spacing among them. So in general, as I mentioned, uh, they love full sun. It's important that uh, the area selected, uh, it has proper drainage. So in the event of flooding, the water doesn't um, remain in that area um, after, you know, those, there's some typical summer rains that will occur. And uh, one of the recommendation is normally when you are transplanting from a, um, a pot is to the hole that you dig should be three to four times the diameter and um, two times as deep as the container that you are uh, um, transferring that pineapple plant from. So that's a very important factor to um, consider. Okay, so the plant growth time to flowering and food size and quality, again, will be reduced if you um, try to grow them in uh, shaded areas. So that's very important to, to note. So, as usual, I will be using the skins to make a drink. So, I'm combining all the skins here. The tops, there are about five tops, I believe. These I will be um, transplanting. I will be planting them directly into the pots. So, here, um, what I'm going to do meanwhile, I am working on this pot. This is one of my, the star pineapple. That was my largest. And... A key factor is to remove the old crowns and suckers. So removing the suckers or slips during the plant growth and fruit development will hasten the fruit's development and increase fruit size. However, 
um, allowing a few suckers or slips to grow will supply new planting material after the first fruit is harvested. So it depends on your gold, you know, eat, you know, I'm okay with them being small, but they're sweet at the same time. But leaving those um, slips will enable, will enable you to have um, extra pineapple plants. So I noticed though that with fewer suckers this time around, the pineapple fruit was larger. With this plant going in its, in its third year, now I'm removing the two crowns that produce fruits for the uh, first two years. The first producing crown, I really should have removed that. That should, would have helped with, who knows, a larger fruit. But at this time, um, just I've cleared everything from this part. Um, there was some spinach and potato that were growing in this part. They were removed. It's all cleared and cleaned up. Um, this last crown here is, is giving me trouble to get. I'm guessing the scissors is not the, may not be the best tool for that. So I'll just prune whatever I can prune at this time. And um, hopefully I could well see what what happens with that remaining um, piece of crown. But what I'm going to also do is I'm going to add some soil to the pot. Uh, the level dropped tremendously. So it's important to replenish these pots, especially the large pots with, um, with soil. So I'll add some um, well-draining soil um, to this. So I'm doing, getting it all prepped before I take it into the um, greenhouse. So with this pineapple being in its um, third year, um, I will not be, this is the one that I will not plant directly into the ground because it's already in its third year. So I'll just let it continue producing in this pot, especially I've seen that it's did well, but we will see um, what happens to the size now that they are not additional suckers and it's all um, pruned in this case. So now it's all filled with soil, um, made sure it had adequate perlite and vermiculite um, to assist with the drainage and ensure that the soil doesn't clump. And so that will be an important um, factor. So the other thing is in terms of soil selection, um, remember that pineapple plants, they grow best in moderately fertile sandy loam soils of neutral to mildly acid acid ph so hmm, the plants will grow satisfactorily in sandy soils but with a sandy soil that would not have as much nutrients uh, attention should be paid to watering and fertilizing in those instances okay so now in terms of the pots in terms of repotting i'll be um, repotting some of the, the plants and so here shown I have some 3.8 gallon pots ideally the suggestion is um, to grow your pineapples in a pot sizes ranging from 3 gallons to 7 gallon but um, and to ensure that they have the drainage hole necessary drainage holes but I'll be using these. This is what I have. You know, ideally, it would be good to have some bigger ones. Uh, maybe in the future, if I get some more 55 gallon drums, I'll cut those and use those also. So now I'm ready to transplant these uh, pineapple tops. Um, notice in some case, this one has a well developed root system, so it's all ready to go. Uh, normally, the suggestion is they, they it's suggested to just leave it to dry for a day before transplanting. But um, what I'll do to compensate for that since I'm planting these um, right away is I dipped, I dipped the base in some um, cinnamon powder. It's antifungal. And so that will ensure that um, it doesn't rot. So here they are all dipped in the cinnamon powder. I have them aligned in the pot and ready to be planted. 
Now, some of these crowns, the roots are not as pronounced or developed. So we'll see what happens there. Um, I did get some tags and I have them labeled so I can know which is which so I can keep proper track of um, the time they would have taken to um, produce that will allow me to get more information and to obtain to well at least observe um, the patterns of behavior so with this done I make sure they are I irrigate they're irrigated and uh, eventually these are the last sets of plants as I said almost all the plants are there in the greenhouse so these are um, the last sets some of the last sets that needs to be um, located into the greenhouse area and normally yes in the in the past I have done transplant right in the winter and take it to the greenhouse and they did survive so I know that this will not be um, an issue so here they are all planted and ready to go as I mentioned uh, they're ready for some irrigation and hopefully they all root and we'll see where it goes from here thank you for watching uh, all comments are welcome if you like please click on like and remember to subscribe to the Petersville farm channel thank you